Hi, I'm Joe Shinyamata from the Portland Macintosh Users Group. And like many of you, I've received many invites to join online meetings recently. We thought at PMUG that maybe not everybody would be familiar with how to do this, so we thought we'd prepare this introductory video. Today I'm going to demonstrate a system called Zoom, which is nice because it runs on a variety of Macintosh operating systems going all the way back to 10.7 Lion, as well as on iPads and iPhones. A laptop or an iMac is one of the easiest devices to use with this because all those have web cameras built in, whereas desktop Macs like a Mac Mini or Mac Pro do not come with cameras and microphones built in. There can be some stumbling blocks because Apple has been adding a lot of security features recently, so you can expect to be asked to, to have to give permission to allow Zoom to use your camera and your microphone. And in my opinion, that is a good thing. So I'm going to start out by demonstrating a Zoom meeting. First off, I'm going to go look for an invite that somebody has sent me. So I'm going to check on my email. And here is an email from Lauren Lead saying, will you come join my PMUG Zoom meeting? Notice that in the email, there's a nice link that I can click on that'll take me directly to the Zoom website. And if I have the Zoom program already installed, it will begin the meeting. Each meeting has a unique identification number. And in this case, this one is also protected with a password. So I'm gonna click on the link and that is going to launch my web browser. I happen to use Safari, but you can also do this in Firefox or Chrome. It'll be fine. In my case, I get asked whether I want to download the program from Zoom, and I'm going to click Allow. And up here, they're showing me that I can click on here to find the installer. I'm going to double click that. And then the program is going to ask for permission to install. And when I click continue, I will be asked to type in my password. Because of the extra steps involved where I had to install the program, Zoom may have lost the meeting ID and password. So I'm going to go back to my email to go sign in again. So I'm going to close this window and return to my email program. I'm going to click on that link, which is going to open my web browser again which will then ask for permission to launch the Zoom app and go right into the meeting. So I'm going to click Allow. In an effort to protect your privacy, more recent versions of the Mac will not allow any program to start using the microphone without you first clicking on the OK button to give it permission. So go ahead and click on the OK button now. After that, you'll want to click on the Join with Computer Audio button so that other people can hear you. If your video hasn't already started, click on the button, and then similar to the audio, you will be asked to give permission. So go ahead and click OK. Hello, is this the fabulous Lauren Lead? <laughs> and the amazing Josh and Yamada. I can't believe that without planning on it, we're wearing the same uh, matching shirts. So I guess yeah. great minds think alike. So true. <laughs> um, so congratulations. This shows you how to get into a basic Zoom meeting. On your iPad or iPhone, find the App Store and tap on the icon. In the search bar up at the top, you can type in Zoom. We're going to look for Zoom Cloud Meetings. When you see it, tap on the Get button and then go ahead and then type in your password. The button should change to an install button. And then it'll begin downloading. Now you could just go ahead and tap the open button when it's downloaded, but I like pressing the home button and just seeing where the icon is in my apps. Now we can just tap on the mail program and look for an invite from somebody to join their meeting. Simply tap on the invite button and Zoom will start up. 
Again, like on the Mac, you will have to allow access to your camera. So go ahead and click OK. And then once you click Join with Video, you will then be asked to allow access to the microphone. Click OK and then click Allow for Notifications and then make sure to click Call using Internet Audio and then you can begin your video conversation. Hopefully you'll have a partner partner than just yourself. At any time you can tap on the screen to make the controls appear and that's where you would find instructions like the button for leaving a meeting in the upper left hand corner. Let's do some troubleshooting. There are two common mistakes people make. The first is that sometimes they forget to turn on the video when they first come in, and second is sometimes not having the audio going. So let's look at that. Troubleshooting one, let's say your video is not going. Let's say I join the meeting with Lauren and he tells me, Hey, I don't see your uh, picture, man. If I then move my mouse over the screen, I can then see a button in the lower left corner that says Start Video. So I'm going to click on that. Ah, there you are. Good. I also see my picture up at the top of the screen. Another common problem sometimes people hit is accidentally muting themselves or turning on the mute during a meeting if you have multiple participants and forgetting to turn it back off. So I'm going to look at what happens for that. So let's say you're sitting there talking. I can't hear you, Joshin. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, if you're talking and the other person says they can't hear you, then you can put your mouse over the screen and click on the unmute button and that should restore your audio. Can you hear me? That's better. Great. Okay. So that is the basics of a meeting. The last part is when you're done, you can put your mouse over the screen and click the leave meeting or click on the big red button up at the top as you normally would. But for PMUG special general meeting, we're planning to have a large audience. And in that case, we don't want to have everybody talking over each other. Or if everybody's trying to use video at once, we may run into problems as well. The person who hosts the meeting can have the opportunity to control whether or not the audience members can participate with audio or video, and the host can even mute audience participants, which might make sense when we have a very large audience and need to make sure everybody can hear each other well enough. I'm going to click on this button called Participants, and I can see a list of everybody who's in this meeting. I can see right now that Lauren is recording the meeting, which is neat. I could record it myself as well. Okay. So the host has muted all participants, which we may have to do if we have 50, 60 people watching. And now I have a question, so I'm going to raise my virtual hand. Okay, and I can see that I was unmuted by the host. He can even lower my hand, and I can ask my question at the general meeting. Uh, like, what's the best security software for the Mac? The quest answer is knowing Charles. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, you've, uh, you've earned your uh, commission on that one. <laughs> so if you need to go at any time, you can uh, click on the red button up at the top to close the window, or you can click the leave meeting button. I'm going to do that now. It asks me if I really want to leave the meeting. I can wave one last time. And then I can click on the big blue leave meeting button. Bye bye. Bye now. That concludes this tutorial on how to use Zoom on the Mac. And we hope you're able to use it to video conference and join us at pmug.org for activities in the future. Stay safe and take care. <laughs>